I lost my background here somehow. What's up, WWE Champions Universe? This is Lee and Rusty from Champions Chat, and we are doing a Power Ratings Showdown. Zombie Liv versus Zombie Becky. Only one can survive. Rusty, what do you think we're going to see in this two-part series? Well, I think we're going to see whether or not Power Ratings work. We're going to see whether or not these posters have held up. We're going to see whether or not um the meta has passed them by we're gonna see if my hair will ever do anything interesting on cam tonight and we're gonna see how everyone votes because their vote is what really matters tonight they have a voice the community right. we are listening we are going for total transparency and we are trying to ensure fairness across the community <laughs> as much as <laughs> so we can some of our yeah. favorite lines to hear. Right? <laughs> well, uh, we're going to first note that Zombie Live does have the wonderful moment that is now fairly available. I mean, obviously, it's a matter of uh, getting the currency this month. But if you so choose, you have a pretty good chance that you can get this moment. But I will note, it doesn't actually do anything for the build that we are going to use. Uh, it would buff up her botch gems, but we're not doing the botch gem build and she doesn't do multiply gems or pyro or silence. So right. just to note, that's actually not a factor in this at all. But what will be a factor is this new LA bite plate. Whenever you activate a yellow move, increase your yellow gem damage by 50% for one turn while we're here we're also going to have the general's orders plate on here and we've got a 50 percent strap with double fury twos just since we're there just since we're there on the moves uh we're going to run the bite that's a three mp red deal damage choose a three by one area to swap into red gems and we're going to use the general's order plate to make that reload the yellow moves, which start with the 10 paces and turn, 6 MP yellow, deal damage, increase your yellow gem damage by 131%, and then the face eraser, 7 MP yellow, deal damage, make 44 random gems yellow. On the Entourage, we're going to run Tech Charlotte, who is my second favorite female in the game to play with now. Yellow gems do 40% and red moves start with two. Since it's a 3 MP red move, that's all you need to get started. Uh, but if you want to do this efficiently, you should probably also run John Cena, the OG. Everybody gets him for starting the game. Yeah, that's right. You can't see me showboat. For yellow gems, do 45% more damage. And yellow moves start with two plus one with the turn start. It's going to be three, which means your, fa your uh, not face eraser, your bite is going to get your uh, 10 paces going. Then you've got the uh, zombie Sammy for yellow gems do 35, I'm sorry, 30%. And Bret Hart, the best there was for yellow gems do 35%. All right, let's go see how she does. Rusty, is that how you run her? Or do you do triple yellow? No, I do the red, the red, yellow, yellow, and I break three and I refill, and I pray for gracious gems to fall upon me as I play. <laughs> right? Wow. <laughs> it's the well, more powerful way to run her, for sure. It's it is. It's also, like a lot of superstars, it's the risky way, Ray. It's the way right. that is kind of the tech Miz has become the meme about yep. big damage, high risk, doesn't always work out for you. Yep. That's right. Well, in Feud, you will not start loaded with the 10 paces in turn unless you use a different trainer setup. Uh, but other than that, you can see it's right here. We're going to run it just so you can see the damage output. Right now, her yellow gems are doing 220k. We are going to buff them with the 10 paces in turn, which is also going to trigger the LA Bite plate. So now they're doing 578 then we're gonna use the uh, red move to create a three match where you're less likely to cascade and you have to do it twice in order to get the 10 paces in turn set up again. 
So now you've triggered the 10 paces in turn twice, which means you've triggered the LA bite plate twice and her bonus buff. So now all gems that are yellow are doing a million per. Uh, you can do the red move one more time, but you're not going to be able to hit it a second time unless she had already put the pin bar back away. So that's the max amount you can do for one turn. You're going to turn 44 random gems yellow, and we'll see how much damage she does right here. Oh, she missed one gem. That was 53 million damage. 53 million damage. Is that in line with your expectations? <laughs> It is now that I've seen this plate. I think we used to dream of having that kind of damage on live. We were anticipating a kick out, I think, at times, depending right. on, especially a showboat matchup with a lot of health. Yeah, um, yeah I, I, I'm a big fan of zombie live. She's my best powerhouse. Yeah, she's my best female zombie. Uh, I like this addition to her, this update. I really thought she would have gotten gear. Like, I just really thought, or I really thought the moment would have helped her in some way. She's been right. 0 for 2, uh, her and Cody both, except Cody's yeah. catching up now. His stuff is is working. He's getting right. better. But um, Liv is kind of <laughs> consistently under underperforming at 6 gold. Right. Um yeah, or has. Yeah. I mean, she's she's still good, but you're right. Where most of the other zombies from her year got gear, uh, she did not. And like we said, the uh, moment helps the botch gym build. But if you run the botch gym build, you either have to take out the three by one area and the red gems or the 10 paces in turn. And either way you're, you know, you're hindering your ability to do the bonus damage in right, right. there. Um, and you're not going to do the finisher one. It's high charge Two bonus damage for every type of gym does not scale well. And so you're only doing 113,000 per, which I know is, you know, used to be an amazing amount, but it's just not there. So realistically, you're going to run a triple, triple yellow or this, uh, triple yellow is the defensive play because it breaks uh, any multiply gems, or I mean, it uh, reverses, sorry, any multiply gems. And then, uh, oh no, actually, I'm sorry, that's not the reversal move. It is the sunset no, rider that's the reversal. Yeah. Yeah, it's that's a kick, the kick out, out move, move that covers the board with leech gems. So right. she literally rises from the dead, which is like a really cool, like, concept. I think right. the lore behind Liv is perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I do like that. I do like that. So uh, I think we're ready to power raider. I mean, we could take off that plate and run it without, but just, to, I mean, I, I run her uh, a lot uh, when she's required and it's about 40 million is what she does, give or take, right. without that plate, 40 to 45, you know, depending on a, a lucky hit and et cetera. So, right. I mean, I think we can power raider unless you got a, a different way you want to show her. Well, I think we're gonna we're gonna have to compromise one of the categories, either with the plate compromising readiness or without the plate compromising power. Right. I would probably rather do it without the plate because I right. really feel like Liv is is ready. It's a very low MP charge. It's a three MP red move um, where she really only needs you know, like a two MP trainer on her to get going. Right. Um, I, I defer to you and to the chat though, because I'm okay. I'm okay with it, with a longer feud um, than a rarer plate. Yeah. A lot of times a plate thwarts our um, chats votes. I, I've just seen it where it's like, Oh, Piper plate. One 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 one. <laughs> no, no, we should have just taken the plate off. Right. So. Well, I'm running her without the plate right now, so we're nice. about to hit see the big hit, so to speak. Um, nice. I mean, very ready. It's it's quick if you don't cascade. But to King Xerxes' right. point in the chat, a three match is a lot harder to cascade on than a four match. That was forty five right. million. Uh, so forty five millions are our, our number to go off of, and that's. That's probably fair without the plate, 45 million. He also added yeah. uh, Merrick's can cascade on a three match and once cascaded while opening the game. So they're, they're showing lots of love in the 
guy in the chat to Merrick's right now. Now, uh, notice that was still a turn one win. That was yeah. still turn one. Still turn that one was win still against under Showboat. 45 seconds against the highest health category in the game. So I like it. I like it. Yep. I, I mean, I don't disagree. It's, it's definitely, um, I mean, it was definitely a quick win and, you know, it wasn't the highest damage, but it also didn't need to be in order to, to see things fly. So, um, yeah. All right. I think we're ready to power Raider then. So here's how our breakdown works. The first category in the power rating is power. Uh, it's a five point system for a five point overall score. She would need to do uh, damage equal to 100% or more of the current meta's top end damage. That's where the top end damage begins, not where it tops out at. And we have, uh, since six gold started, said that the top end damage begins at 60 million. She did not hit 60 million, even with the plate. So we got to move down. Uh, four points is equal to 80% or more of the current meta's top end damage. So 80% or more would be 48 million, uh, if I'm doing that right, because it'd be 12 million, right? 12 million less is 20%. So uh, she actually didn't hit 48 million. So that would be a three on power. We're, we're, and we're sure we got the math right there. Redo it for me. Um, 10% 10 what, of 60 what? is six. And 20% yeah. would be 12. 60 minus 12 should be 48, right? I mean, so if you, if you did it with the plate, she would be at uh, four. But without it... 80% times... 60 million. Yep, 48 million. Yep. You got it. You're so faster than a robot calculator, Lee. Man versus <laughs> machine. You just won. That's right. Man versus food. Man versus food. Uh, King Xerxes, there is a giveaway tonight. Yes. Um, so the speed category is also objective. Did it do this or did it not? For a five in speed, at least two of the following are true. MP charge is equal to or lesser than six MP. That's good for her moves. And that's the move that starts everything. It doesn't have to be every move. Moves recycle flawlessly, which is true as long as you have the general's orders on there. And or animations are quick, resulting in a win under 45 seconds in feud. She did win that match against a 75 million plus uh, health showboat uh, in under 45 seconds. So I am going to give her a five. I will note, though, in feud, feud is uh, kick out, right? So she, yeah. she, the kick out damage is increased. So I would say while at least two of those following things are true, there is an argument to be made that she would not win turn one in under 45 seconds in feud. That's fair. Yeah. I really like live in some extreme rule situations or survival mode, triple yellow, and she just keeps coming back from the dead and breaking right. those leech chains. So she's a lot of fun. 1v1 feud may not be her best format, right. but uh, do some cool things nonetheless. That's right. All right, well, we are on readiness. So readiness is uh, character, what does the character need to be ready? Uh, you know, as that sounds. So for a five, the character would need zero or one special things. That's a rare plate. So for me, the general's orders plate is not rare. It's been available for years. Most people have that plate. So just for context, since this one is a voted category, I would not say the general orders plate is, is rare. And we did not use uh, the second time around, which is what we're basing this on, the LA bite plate. So it'd be uh, a rare plate, a gear, which she doesn't have, moment, which doesn't impact her, or a rare or special trainer to make her work. So, uh, you know, for example, if you would consider Charlotte rare or special, that would count against her right there. Uh, but she doesn't necessarily need Charlotte. There's other characters that can do similar. For a four, character needs two special things. For a three, they need three special things. And for a two, they need four special things. Rusty, take it away. Uh, this is a lightning poll, friends. So you'll have one minute to vote, only one minute. Click the top of the chat where this poll is pinned. 
lock in your vote, and then tap the vote button. We've already seen some fives rolling in. Yeah. Lee, I think her readiness is a five. I, Why is that? <clears throat> well, Showboat Cena, <laughs> for example, like that's the literally the first character you get in the game, right? right? It's her primary gym <laughs> damage trainer. And then you can have any number of other yellow gym buffs. It's a pretty broad category. You don't have to have the 50% gym buff. You can have, you know, any, whatever your best yellow entourage is and just go crazy. Just go crazy with her. And she's very rarely will she lose until you run up until uh, against a triple yellow zombie live, the mirror match is brutal. <laughs> it is one of the worst. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that is a pain. That is a pain. Uh, so the poll is closed, Lee. Oh, 79% said five. So I think they agree with the low MP common trainers. Her speed and readiness kind of go hand in hand. With she's ready right out of the box. Yep. I agree. Uh, and Discord agrees as well. By the way, if you're not in our Discord server, uh, we do have the vote up early there. That way it would have, you know, the opportunity for people to vote ahead of time and get their uh, thoughts in if they want to in the chat. And uh, to respond to who's it hip designer said oh i don't have twitch app you know is is uh readiness and power tied together no uh my character can be super powerful but need a lot of things to hit so on the video that you've got to put your comment on with your twitch name uh that rusty's gonna tag and and pin in the chat after we do the the next two ratings on the lightning polls uh, it does show William Regal as a good example. William Regal hits harder in the game than anybody else, but his readiness score is tanked because he needs gear. He needs a Piper plate. He yeah. needs, uh, you know, well, Tamatanga is no longer a, the rare one because he's A tier. But before that, he either needed Drew or Maxine. So, I mean, you could see, like, he can hit like a truck, uh, but he needs everything to get moving. You just got to right. have those things. So. The next category is versatility. Uh, versatility is a character is competitively usable. Keep that in mind, competitively usable in feud boss and showdown and has a special gem type that would help with extreme rules and gem mania. Uh, keep in mind, almost every character now has a special gem type. So that only really impacts older characters when we rate them. Uh, for a four characters competitively usable in two modes, Feud Boss or Showdown, some combination of those in two, and still has a special gem type. For a three characters competitively usable in one mode, Feud Boss or Showdown, maybe a sleeper in Boss. And for a two characters not competitively usable in any modes, uh, competitively, but may be capable of winning tours and blitzes. Back to you, Rusty. Okay, so our lightning pole is live at the top of the chat. It's pinned. Versatility. Tap your number. Tap vote. And um, I I have to admit, Lee, I have never run the botch build for Liv. I, I've yeah. never done it. Um I'm gonna I'm pulling it up here and looking at it. You choose a five by five area into botch, and you've got a reversal that steals multiplies right. um right. you can kick out you can turn the whole board into leech with a kick out you can make a juggernaut gem that charges your red mp and then turns 42 botch gems uh into green gems wow so she does a whole board's worth of yellow a whole board's worth of green i really like her knowing all of that yeah. <laughs> for a versatility um, is there anywhere you would not want to take zombie live into battle? Um, but personally, Ooh, man, that's a, that's a five. I personally I was I would a... not use her in feud myself. Cause again, you're only going to be able to hit the buff 
you won't be able to hit the buff both times because it's not going to be loaded unless you debuff one of your trainers, but then you've, you know, offset the buff, you know, a little bit and it doesn't quite hit as hard. So for me, I'm not going to use her in feud. Um, boss battle, maybe. I mean, she's definitely got some stuff in there, so that's good. Uh, and then showdown, I mean, the, the low charge to get her started, I do like in showdown. So for me, she's a four, uh, but the, the poll was dominantly a five. Uh, Twitch though is where this is where we're going to have to have a, a conversation on numbers because okay. 12 people voted five on discord. I'm sorry, on, on, on Twitch, uh, on discord, exactly 12 people voted four. So <laughs> we've got a split between Twitch and discord right now. Did that even die? It's a well, the exact numbers, yes. Uh, yes, so at this uh, I was about to vote, Lee. I did not get to vote, and my vote would have been four. I did not get to lock it in. I would have voted um, a four as well, and I did not. Oh, vote. I usually don't unless it's in need of a tiebreaker. And Merrick said, I don't use her anywhere. So, yeah. <laughs> wow, that's a one. <laughs> yeah, I think four's, I think four's the vote. If you're new with us, we always round down if it's ever a hair's decision that splits it we round down because we don't want to hype or sensationalize anything for the community we'd rather them be pleasantly surprised right when they right. run her for themselves than to get our score and be disappointed that their new zombie live isn't up to par so we'll go with four then yep yeah, I mean, that's that's the way we have to do it to stay fair. We would never want to overinflate a character and then be like, oh, they're the best thing. People start getting them and go, what the heck yeah. are you thinking? Uh, so the last category then is Entourage. This is the most controversial category in power ratings, just being honest here. Uh, because like OTC Roman, perfect across the board, except for his Entourage ability. Uh, and a quick uh, housekeeping note on this, this one cannot be a Five. We have to have a discussion real quick between you and me, Rusty, as to do we just put her straight up as a four? Because Zombie Sammy's ability is samesy samesy, uh, and we voted it a four. But at the very least, we cannot say it's a five because it can't be better than Zombie Sammy's when it does the right. exact same thing. So either we skip this one and go straight to a four, or we she we allow for the vote but cannot be a five. Right. Well, the other person that has the identical... Uh, coach ability would be zombie Cody because Cody hits the silence and purple as well. So yeah, it's a four. It's a really, really strong um, category of co or combination of categories. But yeah, because of what we've already looked at in the category, we know, we know it's a four. We yeah. I mean, that's, that's the only, I, did, I never want to assume that answer, but because we voted Zombie Sammy a four and it's same Z, we can't right. break too far. We either then we have to make Zombie Sammy a three as well, or we'd have to make Zombie Sammy a five as well. So, um, yeah, anyway. So, uh, Rusty, tell them how to enter the giveaway while I'm tabulating the results here. I got it. So, I've been kind of spamming the chat with the giveaway info. If you're watching us uh, on demand at a later time, um, no, and we're not breaking any rules. We're, we're the actually more keeping to the go, rules. <laughs> yeah, I would say we're being consistent with how we with how we call it. Um, and very few entourages are actually a five. Um, for the record, the ones that are are this month's gyms get sixty percent increase and multiplies get what 40 percent increase right. that cycle of zombie those are all fives right so we're not gonna rate one a four because we don't like that color oh i don't like to play with blue gems i don't have any blue gem plates so therefore gunther gets a lower score than than chelsea right so we just when it's a category a cycle of categories, you know, we just keep it together. So Right. Yeah, if it's the same basic thing but a different color, we can't uh, logically give it a different score. I mean, I mean, yes, you could say, oh, well, red gems are more useful than blue gems. But, but realistically, it's the same thing across the board. Um, 
you know, uh, there is maybe an argument to be made that a certain type gym might be more important than another type gym. But ultimately, she does the same thing as Sammy, just different color, different gem type. So the same thing will apply once we get to uh, the other zombies that do this exact same thing. So it'll keep it fair across the board, which means I agree. Zombie Live is a 21 out of 25. And I think okay. that's right in line um so yeah, I think so. so real quick shout out to jd nash who is actually on uh i can see him right now working on the sheet as we do this which is awesome so on the ranking summary right here on the first page when you go to this document you'll be able to see him in order and you can uh so you can sort by power speed readiness whatever class tier etc thank you thank you thank you jd nash for that uh on the female visuals sheet You'll see uh, she falls above Chelsea, but Chelsea and Naya are the only two female powerhouses we have power rated. So she's easily winning the powerhouse category for females. Uh, that puts her below Indy. Yeah. Puts her below Heavy Metal Rhea, of course. Puts her below Maxine. Puts her below Roxanne. And puts her below Bailey. Uh, but actually puts her dead tied with Oblivion which I think is crazy because I would I would rank Oblivion so much higher. But Oblivion's entourage ability took a big hit. Her versatility took a hit and her readiness took a hit. So, uh, yeah, and then Charlotte's better than her as well. So that's where she kind of ranks on the females. Rusty, tell us what you think. And then, uh, you know, unless you got more discussion, you can take us out on this one. Uh, so, so I'll say this, right? We've known for years that female powerhouse is a really tough category. Yep. Um, we still haven't seen, to my knowledge, that female powerhouse character that would blow away this score. I think she's still at the top of the female powerhouse um, game, right? And yet, it's just not a great category. It's just not a great category. Liv is very nimble very flexible, can do a lot of fun stuff. We'll be interested to see Chelsea post 99 MP, especially with how high her MP is to load. Yeah. Um, and who knows what gear could be coming in the future or moments. So these power ratings are always subject to being updated by new trainers, new entourage, new, et cetera, et cetera. All that to say, like, I love even somebody entered the chat and just said, I think that score is a little too high still. Yeah. Um, I can see the case to be made for that because her power is a three, right? Yeah. And she's fun and she's, an, she's consistent and she's able to cycle and, and she's some, listen, if you are a free to play player, you think we're all crazy because you're saying, She's the best, right? She's, I wish I had a live on my roster. So we say yeah. all this with a bit of levity, with a bit of humility, knowing that it's a tough category, knowing that she's a year older, and even that her entourage ability is still super, super valuable, but, but kind of niche and not a five, not something we're going to yeah. use all the time. Um, I'm curious to see if Becky's score will be any higher, Lee. So check out our next video if you're watching this later. But I'm glad we've got so many intelligent champions in the chat tonight to help us get this right. We'll see That's you right. next time.